guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Aki. If this is the first time, thank you so much for coming. And for those who've been watching, thank you so much for coming back. As you can see, pajama here. <laughs> no, not really. I just washed my face and my hair is a little bit of mess. But it's quarantine life. I think it's okay. It's my Sunday. Not Sunday, Saturday day off. My husband took the kids for a hike, so I've been wanting to redo this guy for a long time because he does keep on growing. But, um, so these guys are just growing non stop. Anyway, while I, I'll do this, I thought I'll do the tag. Um, it's a juicy. Um, plant to repair by Nicole, Ju uh, is it Julie Nicole, gosh, um, <laughs> yeah, Julie Nicole, I got it right, I'm always so bad with names, so, but I got it right, okay, so, um, Scott from Scott Grows Avocado tagged me for this tuber, um, juicy tuber tag, so I thought, I would do this questions while I do this, and sorry if I'm looking at my phone because I'm looking at I'm looking for the questions. So um, let's start, shall we? Okay, this guy's really growing nonstop, and I want to make like full from like any angle right now. <laughs> He's full on this side, and his back is really. Not much, but I've been like propagating to like plant more um, alisania <laughs> to make it fuller so it would grow from the back as well. But I want to like wrap around it so that it will look fuller um, from the back as well because it looks better. And then this guy, this guy on the top can just grow more, have more space to grow. Anyway, so let's get started. Number one, what are the three most expensive plants you own? What are the prices for grits? Um, I think my most expensive plant is this guy, Avisonia. He was about forty dollar, I think, when I bought it in six inch pot. And the second ex most expensive, huh, would be, I think it's my. Anthurium Clelogonium, cl cl is that how you say it? I'll show you, like the baby one. I got it for my birthday gift. And that was, that was actually about the same price as this guy, but then I got $5 discount, so I got that for $35. And then I think the second most expensive would be my variegated wall thin, which was I think he was around $30. Any regrets? No, I love them all. I mean, they're not, they're not that, that expensive, I would say. I mean, not like those, like over $100. So, and they're all growing so well. Well, except, well, this, this guy is growing just so well. It's, it's about a year since I got this. So, Oh, so not, I didn't need to take the bottom off. But, um, yeah, I didn't, I don't have any regrets. These are all my precious babies. And I love them all. And they bring me joy by putting out a lot of new girls. I need to take the lights out first. And, yeah, I don't have any regrets. Sorry. It's really hard to concentrate okay next question what is the most you would spend on a plant okay <laughs> I don't work right now because I don't have the visa yet we used to be double income um, when I was in Japan so I didn't mind if I had a job in Japan for the life they had I would probably be able to afford you know monstera albo but now <laughs> we're on a budget. I'm on a budget, I guess. 
I mean, not that I have like amount that I can only spend every month, but I try to keep it that I won't be spending too much on the plants. But um, I would have to say 40 is about, yeah, $40 would be like the most I would spend on the plants. Of course, I do want high constellation, high constellation or algo, but right now, that's not going to happen. Wow, these guys are really stuck to the pole. They're not coming off. Okay. I don't think I want to put this lights back on now because they get all over the place and the I don't want to make a tear in there okay okay I might think about it okay so 40 is about yeah I would spend on the plants mostly like expensive plants over that I will have to ask my husband I will feel so bad I'm spending <laughs> Over forty dollar for plants. Um, number three, has your plant collection ever caused issue in your relationship? If yes, please explain. I don't think so. My husband's very supportive. He, I mean, he's not. I don't think he loves it like I do, but I think he likes it. He said it's nice, and well, we never complained about plants. I don't think so. Even like when he his desk is like right behind, like not right behind, um, in front of my plant shelf. So he does like a video call with the company, and <laughs> he gets a good compliment. And he he yeah, I think he likes that too. So yeah, we don't. I don't think so. Gosh. Okay, let me just put this guy down safely. Look at them! So long. Wow. It's bigger than me. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I could ever untangle this guy. Now I don't know what to do. Maybe I should have asked my husband for help. I did ask my husband if he wanted to be, if like, if because I wanted to do, because we're stuck home, right? I thought we could do like husband and wife Q and A or Q and A with the husband, but he said not really. <laughs> he doesn't wanna, but I would like to convince him one day. Okay, number four has. Owning plants interfere with your travel plans? So far, not really, because we have having trouble over five days. Maybe five days was the longest we've traveled, and yeah, plants do fine. I think with kids now, we can't travel more than like a week. I think a week would be the longest that we can be away from home. Yeah, before kids, we used to go on a trip, like two weeks trips, but not anymore. So, no, it does not, and I have, I have a fish now, so I don't think I can ever leave home. <laughs> I will have to find, um, we mostly go to my sister-in-law's cottage on the weekends and we take our cat with us so that wasn't a problem and the turtles he just does he's just he fine. But now we have a fish, I need to find a solution. I guess I can buy like feeder, automatic feeder machine. Uh, yeah, I don't we won't be traveling <laughs> longer than a week, so yes, my plants will do just fine, except my Calithia might not be so happy about it, but they should be okay. So, there, I'm done. I don't, I haven't feeling like, uh, was that the right choice, choice doing this? I'm worried that 
Yeah. I'm going to think I could do it by myself. Okay, next question. Have you killed a plant intentionally? Intentionally? No. I would never do that. But, um, would giving up intentionally? I mean, I had a majestic palm that had scales. And I was trying really, really hard to get rid of it. But it just kept coming back and it wasn't, the, the palm, the plant wasn't doing well at, at all. Like, I treated it for like maybe four weeks, but it just didn't recover. In the end, like, because I have to trim most of the leaves, in the end it just became a stick. And, um, yeah, I just gave up and I think I trashed it. Is that an intentionally, how about, does that count as a killing it intentionally? Maybe. Okay, maybe that could be yes. But I had no choice. I mean, it wasn't, it was dying. And the scale, I just could not get rid of the scale. So, maybe yes. Okay, that could be maybe. Okay, here we go. One. Okay, next one. Most stressful part about owning plants. Okay, most stressful part about owning plants would be having pests. I used the thought I would never get a test because I take such a good care of my plants. And excuse me, and I think I do, but they still come no matter what, you know. It's not. It, it happens. They come out of nowhere, so that's very stressful, and especially. Um, We've been quarantined and I've been looking more closely to my plants and I realized my Calitheas, Calitheas, I miss them pretty much every day. My Calitheas had spider mites. That was really shocking. So, pests is really hard to deal with. And yeah, spider mites are but I think they're easier than mealybugs and yeah, treating mealy and scale. Like in my opinion, they're a lot more easier. Okay, so that's my stress is about having pests. Um, next one. If you if you were only allowed to have three plants in your collection, which one would they be? What was that? Three plants, that's really hard. Um, oh my gosh. This guy is my number one still. He, I think he will never, yeah, I think he'll be number one forever. And second one, oh, I love them all. Okay, second one. So this is my second most expensive plant right here. It's the Anthurium clavulanium. That, I can never pronounce this. I hope that wasn't spider mine. But it's a baby one and I got it for my birthday. So this will be my second one. And then my third one. I would definitely have to say my Calithea Orbifolia. It's just gorgeous. I think this was my number one. Um, that needs to be dusted. Number one. Um, I don't want to step on one. Number one. Wish list plant that I ever had in my list. So, and she's gorgeous. So, yeah, this would be number three. Those are the three plants I will keep. Okay, next question. Where is it? What's your opinion on the rare plant hype? Oh, yeah, that's crazy. I because I I can't spend much money on plants. So 
yeah, I, I, it's crazy that, I mean, I don't judge people. And, yeah, if the plant makes you happy and you can afford it, yeah, why not? Go for it. But, yeah, it's crazy that plant could cost so much money. You know? But, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't buy it because I can't afford it either. And, um... But if they would give it to me for free, of course I would want it. <laughs> and yeah, so I mean like if it's bring you joy, why not? And if you could afford it, yeah, of course, go for it. But you're buying it just because it's popular and like you just want to brag about it, having one, then no, that's why the prices are going up. I don't know if that, that was a, that was even that right right answer. <laughs> like, <laughs> oops. Um. Okay. Number nine. Have you ever purchased a plant just because it was trending and you don't like like it that much? Okay. Um. No, I don't think so. Oh. Mm, well. I have to, I had to, um, back with the four tetrasperma, and one was non, I think none was, none was tissue culture, and one was non-tissue culture, and I got the tissue, non-tissue culture one from the local, um, nursery, and then I got the non-tissue culture one from my mom from Japan and I would have to say I really like the one from my mom the non-tissue culture one and that was because I wanted it well I guess it's not really well it was trending but then like I didn't know there was a different type I mean they look different obviously when, when I had it sorry I, I sold it so I sold my tissue culture one so I don't have the tissue culture one anymore but yeah because I, I didn't I didn't need to and I regret buying the one from the regret buying the non tissue culture one <laughs> not regret it but like I didn't know it until I had it but they're different so it was a good thing but yeah that would be my regret. I didn't need to buy the tissue culture one, but, but then it was good to know as well. So that would be my answer. Okay. But I buy plants that I like. It's, I don't buy plants because they're popular. I mean, they could be popular and I like it too, but it's not because everybody else has it. I want it because I like them and I like how they look okay and then the next one do you think having a plant collection is bad for the environment hmm. I don't know why it would be bad for the environment I think it's healthy especially a time like this where under quarantine having this life like having plants around the house is so nice and calming and only thing I could think of that could be bad for the environment would be um, I guess like shipping the plants you have to use a lot of material that is kind of bad for the environment right and also I don't know I guess all those rare plants that you could find in the nature that people would be hunting would be bad for the environment. But for like us, who likes to collect house plants, I don't think it's a bad, bad for the environment at all. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure. It, 
it looks the same even though I let it go around the pole. I might need to. Okay. And last one, how much would someone have to pay you to kill your favorite plant? <laughs> um, <laughs> I would never ask anyone to do that because these are my babies. And yeah, but if I have to <laughs> give a number, I would have to say a million dollars, just like Scott, <laughs> because no one's going to pay me a million dollars to kill my plants. <laughs> and yeah, if I get a million dollars, I could, I mean, they won't be the same, but I could still buy the same plants and start growing again and buy more plants, I guess. But, yeah, million dollars. There you go. What do you think? That's an interesting question. Um, why am I doing this? Oops, that's my husband's computer. Okay. Here you go. Um, I think that was the last question, right? And am I done? Let me see. Okay, just need to do the bottom part so these baby ones can go onto this hole. It's about almost one year since I started my collection. Well, actually, May, end of April. We moved here in this condo and then my collection started. So it's almost a year. And this guy, this one came around the beginning of May. So yeah, it's about a year. Oh, well, it still looks full on this side because the main mother plant is potted on this side. But I think it looks a little bit better from the back, I guess. What do you think? Okay, done. So, that was the tag, and if you like it, I'm not going to tag anyone, but if you like this tag, why don't you go visit um, Nicole's, Julie Nicole's pay channel and see her tag, and you can do it for yourself. They're very interesting, and I guess also for you guys to get to know my opinion and what I think about forest plants. I hope you like this video and I hope, um, yeah, what do you guys think? These guys have a little bit more space to grow. I don't know if I'm going to put the plants back up there, but yeah, I might need to extend this pole to see figure out a way to extend this pole so that they can climb more but I hope you like this video and I'll see you in my next one bye